The Omada Hardware Controller, OC200 or OC300, provides centralized management of your EAPs, switches, and routers in the Omada network. In this video, we'll show you how to set up the controller via your mobile phone. Step 1. Connect the controller to your local network. For OC300, you can connect the power port to a power socket and connect the Ethernet port to the switch. For OC200, you can connect the PoE in port of the device to a PoE port of a PoE switch. To set up the controller via the Omada Cloud, make sure your controller has an internet connection. On default settings, when the controller has internet, the cloud LED will flash slowly. After connecting your mobile phone to the internet, you can set up the controller using the Omada app on your phone. Step 2. Log in with your TP-Link ID. Make sure your mobile phone has an internet connection. Download, install, and launch the Omada app. If you agree to TP-Link's privacy policy in terms of use, tap Agree. On the Cloud Access page, tap Go to Login. Enter your email and password and tap Login to log in with your TP-Link ID. If you don't have a TP-Link ID, you need to first tap Sign Up and follow the wizard to create a TP-Link ID. Step 3. Add the controller to your TP-Link ID. Tap the plus sign. Verify that the cloud LED of the controller is flashing slowly. If not, make sure your controller has an internet connection. If it is still not working, try to push the reset button and hold for 5 seconds to reset the controller back to factory default and then try again. Tap next. You can either scan the QR code or enter the device key printed on the bottom of the controller. Then type the characters in the image. Tap Next. The controller is now successfully added to your TP-Link ID. Tap Done. Step 4. Set up the controller. Finally, tap the controller icon and follow the wizard to set up the controller. Thank you.